What's going on everybody? My name is Kevin. I'm the owner of Molten Works Glass Studio and today I'm going to be showing you how to cut circles. I'll be showing you both how to cut uh, circles on tra with transparent glass and also with opaque glass. Uh, now the circle cutter that I will be using today is going to be the Glass Star um, stripper and circle cutter. We're going to be doing the circle part of it. So here's what it looks like. Little blades on the end. This is what goes on the glass, you're going to see how we cut it. And then I'm also going to show you two methods to breaking it out. So how do you get it once it's scored? How do you break that glass out or what, what do you do with it? So we're going to learn all that fun technique. Uh, if you guys have something that you want to learn or a product that you want reviewed, um, provided I have it or I can get it, I will go ahead and review it for you. So please ask any questions. Don't hesitate because I'm happy and excited to answer them for you. All right, so I've got my cutter. Now, what you'll notice when you get your cutter, if you have the glass star, uh, along the top is uh, measurements. Now, that's gonna show you what the radius is. On the bottom, it's gonna show you uh, the diameter of the circle you're trying to make. So, I, I use the diameter. It's a lot easier than the radius uh, with how it lines up. So, I'm gonna do a nine inch circle today. So, I'm making sure it's nice and tight. I'm marked right on the line there where it says nine. Um, you can't see it because it's covered, but it does say nine. Now, the glass I'm using is Spectrum, or sorry, Oceanside glass uh, and tile, the clear that they've created. So as I'm cutting my circles, uh, we wanna give a little bit of room on the edges. Uh, if you're a novice at cutting circles, I recommend giving yourself a little more uh, of an edge because sometimes it can be a little more forgiving that way. Um, but today I'm gonna cut circle from this corner here. Now I have a bigger sheet. You might also have a single sheet or something along those lines that uh, you can only get one circle out of. So I'm just gonna cut one. Now, before I start scoring, holding my thumb on the center, I'm gonna make sure as I swing it around that it's gonna be on the glass the whole time. Really need to press firmly. I like to start with my Left hand, as the guy that goes around, I'm left-handed though, so if you need to switch, you can switch it up. And I'm starting all the way to where I can't reach around anymore, pulling it around, and then I can do it all in one sweep. Sometimes if you need to stop, it's okay, just stop, and then finish scoring. The key here is that you're only scoring it around once, um, and these blades, you will be able to tell when they get dull, they get, uh, I cut a lot of circles so they get dull pretty fast. Um, but once we got our circle here, uh, to get this out, the method I'm gonna show you for clear and transparent is actually utilizing a rubber mallet. Uh, it's a little bit harder, It's sorry, it's not quite the rubber mallet, it's, it's a little more plastic-like. Um, you can find this just at any local hardware store. Uh, they'll have something like this. I like to use this technique because it's a little easier, um, in my opinion, to get clear glass out and just instead of doing the other method I'll show you in a minute. So the first thing we're gonna do, we've scored it on this side. We're going to now flip our sheet of glass over. I'm gonna flip it this way so it's the score circle is close to me. Get my hammer. Now that it's flipped over, the score side is down. I'm gonna lightly tap right on the scratch mark. And what's gonna happen is that it's gonna break it all the way through. So again, light tap. This takes a little bit of practice to feel. And then as you're looking on your glass, you'll see it's all the way broken through, okay? You can see that a lot better now uh, in the camera as well. So now once I've done that, next thing is gonna be flipping it back over to the scored side. So gently flipping it back over. Again, if you have a small piece, it can be a little easier. Um, now I'm gonna get to breaking it out. So this part, I'm going to need a scoring tool. Okay, and I'm gonna cut lines. Because it's already broken through, I can cut lines right to it. Now it's gonna be a little, let's see how I wanna do this. I'm gonna cut across here because I want to not make break my glass all apart in weird ways. So I'm just cutting it to show you guys a little easier here. Okay, so the scratch side is now face up. And what I'm doing with this is I'm writing 
lines starting, I like to start where the scratch is, like just before it, okay? So you're not actually touching it. If you touch it or go over, it's gonna break through the circle. So again, starting just, just on the outside of that score mark and going all the way. Now what I'm doing is these are release points, okay? So I want to get enough, I like four, because that's gonna make sure it's easy to break out. I simply flip it back over, and all I'm gonna do with the mallet now is hit those scratch marks that I just made. Okay, and now I simply pull or break these off, okay? All right, and that, my friends, is how I cut transparent circles at the studio. Now, obviously you can do this with opaque glass, but it's definitely a lot harder because you can't see where the scratch mark is once you flip it face down. So next I'm gonna show you the tangent line method of cutting circles. All right, so let's talk about how to cut out an opaque piece of glass. For this, I've actually, I'm going to use black because you'll be able to see the scratch mark or the score mark once I make it. Um, and we're gonna learn how to cut it as a tan using tangent lines um, for those that remember their math classes. So again, um, I just have this piece, it's 12 by 12. It's probably a piece uh, similar to the size you might get. I'm cutting a nine inch disc out of this as well. And I'm just running it around, just making sure all points are on. And when I'm ready, again, I'm going to stretch in this motion. If I need to stop, I carefully take that hand off, readjust, and get ready to finish. It is very crucial that you don't move this center when you stop and readjust, because if you move it at all, when you get to the end, it won't connect um, anymore. So now you can kind of see the uh, score marks in there, okay? now. Tangent lines, a tangent line just means that from where your starting point is, as you reach the circle, tangent means it touches. It doesn't go directly on, it just touches. Okay, so what I like to do when I'm first approaching this is start on a corner like this, okay? Okay, we can't do too much, but we can get a little bit of this off. So I'm gonna start down here. I'm gonna simply score to a tangent, you should feel it click into the scratch mark, but don't keep scratching in that scratch, okay? Then when you when you find your exit point, so again, you're breaking it here, I'm gonna use a runner um, tool, and then it's gonna exit. So it knows where to break here. Obviously, it's not gonna finish that whole circle. So we're gonna create, again, an exit point. I like to move it so it's I'm in the groove to start, and then simply work your way out, again, tangent. So you can kind of see how these lines connect up, okay? So I've got here, and we're gonna break this off, okay? Now, as far as runner tools go, there's two sizes that um, I use. The big one is the eight inch. This guy is great for thick pieces of glass and bigger, longer pieces um, in general. Six and a half inch. Uh, spring-loaded, which is nice because then it automatically pops back. The other guy's not spring-loaded, so you got to open it up each time. Small one will work for these projects, probably for everything you're doing. Matching it up, and we're squeezing. Oh, and if it doesn't break through, we're going to switch hands and try from the other side. Woo, we got more than we bargained for. Look at that. So sometimes that happens as well. Now, if you're wondering how the runner tool and scoring tool work, that is gonna be another tutorial, so definitely tune in. Follow our channel, Multum Works Glass Studio, uh, to see all of the different tutorials. And if you don't see one that you want, please ask, because I'm happy to uh, film more tutorials for you. So now that we've got the circle started, we can now just keep going, and we only need to create our exit point. Okay. Because again, we're matching it up right there on our scratch and voila. And we just keep working it again. Small steps, baby steps, nothing too crazy. And again, if it, if it doesn't look like it's breaking right away, switch, flip it around. Um, now you do end up with some nubs sometimes. Uh, take it to the grinder to uh, get rid of the rest of that. Uh, and then for here, creating the entrance point tangent line so that we can get this to break off as well. And this I might be able to just get just like that, okay? 
So that is how you cut a tangent line out of your circle. You end up with some nubs. This is where a glass star grinder or other grinder comes in handy. Um, again, if you wanna see what the, how the grinder works and how to use it, another video, uh, but make sure to follow us and subscribe. Thanks everybody for tuning in to watching how we cut circles uh, with the glass star circle cutter. Um, here's our final um, circles that we cut out today. Uh, I just wanna say there are many ways to cut out your circles. The, the hammer technique is, I'm pretty sure I'm the only one who really does that. I'm not sure of anybody else doing that. I could totally be wrong, uh, but find what works for you. Um, you know, it's, it's a matter of kind of touch and finesse and the more you cut glass, the more you're gonna learn how it works and how um, gentle or hard you need to be in certain situations. So all I can say is practice, practice, practice. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you on another video uh, from Moulton Works Glass Studio.